Types of Drones Types of drones can be classified on the basis of their functionality. We have the multi-rotors with more than one rotor. Fixed wings look like an aircraft. And the single rotors which resemble helicopters. We also have the hybrid VTOLs, vertical takeoff and landing. These are a combination of multi-rotors and fixed wings. Multi-rotor drones are the easiest and cheapest option for getting an eye in the sky. They also offer greater control over position and framing and hence they are perfect for aerial photography and surveillance. They are called multi-rotor because they have more than one motor. More commonly tricopters with three rotors, quadcopters with four rotors, hexacopters with six rotors and octocopters with eight rotors. By far, quadcopters are the most popular multi-rotor drones. It provides better control of the aircraft during the flight. Due to its increased maneuverability, it can move up and down on the same vertical line back to front, side to side and rotate in its own axis. It has the ability to fly much more closely to structures and buildings. To take multiple payloads per flight increases its operational efficiency and reduces the time taken for inspections. Disadvantages include having limited endurance and speed, making them unsuitable for large-scale aerial mapping, long endurance monitoring and long distance inspection, such as pipelines, roads and power lines. Require a lot of energy just to fight gravity and keep them in the air. With the current battery technology, they are limited to 20 to 30 minutes when carrying a lightweight camera payload. However, heavy lift multi-rotors are capable of carrying much more weight in exchange for much shorter flight times. Fixed Wings A fixed wing drone has one rigid wing that is designed to look and work like an aeroplane, which provides the lift rather than vertical lift rotors. Hence, this drone type only needs the energy to move forward and not to hold itself in the air. This makes them energy efficient. Advantages They cover longer distances, map much larger areas and loiter for longer times monitoring their point of interest. The average flight time is a couple of hours, but with a greater energy density of fuel, many fixed wing UAVs can stay aloft for 16 hours or more. This drone type can fly at a high altitude carrying more weight and more forgiving in the air than other drone types. Disadvantages are that they can be expensive. Training is usually required to fly fixed wing drones. A fixed wing drone is always moving forward and they move a lot quicker than a multi-rotor and hence you might not get a chance to put it into a hover. With fixed wing, the flight is just the beginning. The hundreds and thousands of captured images have to be processed and stitched together into one big tiled image. There is a lot more to be done after this. Single rotor drone types are strong and durable. They look similar to actual helicopters in structure and design. A single rotor has just one rotor which is like one big spinning wing plus a tail rotor to control direction. It has the benefit of much greater efficiency over a multi-rotor which increases if the drone is gas powered for even longer endurance. A single rotor helicopter allows for very long blades which are more like spinning wing than a propeller giving great efficiency. If you needed to hover with a heavy payload or have a mixture of hovering with long endurance or fast forward flight then they are your best bet. They are built to be strong and durable. Disadvantages are that they are complex and expensive. They vibrate and aren't as stable or forgiving in the event of a bad landing. They also require a lot of maintenance and care due to their complexity. The long heavy spinning blades of a single rotor can be very dangerous. Tall drone types merge the benefits of fixed wing and rotor based designs. This drone type has rotors attached to the fixed wings allowing it to hover and take off and land vertically. This new category of hybrids are only a few on the market but as technology advances this option can be much more popular in the coming years. The advantages are that they can do all the hard work of keeping the drone stable leaving the human pilot the easier task of guiding it around the sky. They offer you with the best of both worlds fixed wing and rotor based designs. They are perfect at either hovering or forward flight. The disadvantages are only a handful of fixed wing hybrids are currently on the market. The technology used in these drone types is still in the nascent stages. We can also categorize based on size. Nano, micro, small, medium and large are categories of drones based on size. There are other types of unmanned systems like the unmanned ground vehicle, the unmanned surface vehicle, 
and the autonomous underwater vehicle. There are several applications to drones. They can be used for hobbyist flying. Here we can see a drone scanning barcodes in a warehouse. They can be used industrially for inspection. As we can see here, a drone is helping this man to inspect a pipe blockage. Drones can also be used for rescue and search missions. Security and Surveillance And of course, the military. With this, we end this video. Thank you for watching.